In this video, I'll be solving this transshipment network using Solver in Excel. I'll be solving both unbalanced and balanced problems and also introducing additional constraints. These are the unit shipping costs. Plant capacity is here and distribution center is demand here. I'm going to copy and paste the tables to the right here. Then delete the values. I'm going to shade the regions that will contain the optimal solution yellow. Those will be the units to ship from node to node. Next, I'm going to move the supplies a column to the right and move demands one row down. The number of units shipped from each plant will be displayed here. Units shipped to the warehouses will be down here. Units shipped out of the warehouses will be to the right here. The number of units shipped to the distribution centers will be down here. I'm going to shade those regions blue. I'm going to copy the supply values here and the demand values here. Next, I'll type equals sum, select units shipped from plant 1 and copy it down for plants 2 and 3. Then sum for units shipped to warehouse 1, copy it to warehouse 2. Then sum for units shipped from warehouse 1, copy it to warehouse 2. We do the same for distribution center 1 and copy it to 2 and 3. I'll place the total cost here and shade it light green. The total cost will be the unit cost of shipping times the number of units shipped. So equals some product, cost of shipping from the plants, comma, unit shipped from the plants, plus some product, cost of shipping from the warehouses to the distribution centers, comma, unit shipped from the warehouses. Close the parentheses and enter. The setup is now complete. Next, click the data tab and click solver. For the objective, click the green total cost cell. Select mean to minimize. For variable cells, select the top yellow cells, comma, then select the bottom yellow cells. Next to add constraints, click add. For the supply constraints, select the blue cells here. Now note that total supply is 1800, which is greater than total demand of 1750. Hence, this is an unbalanced transshipment problem. In essence, we won't be shipping out all the available units from the plants. As a result, we will use the less than or equal sign here and select the supply values from the right side. Click Add. Next, we set the amount shipped to the warehouses to be equal to the amount shipped out of them. Click Add. Then the amount shipped to the distribution centers can be set equal to the actual demand values since there is enough supply to meet demand. Click OK. Ensure that the non-negativity box is checked. Select Simplex and click Solve. If you want the answer report, you can select Answer here. But I'm just going to click OK. And here we have the optimal solution. You can see that the total ship from the plant equals total shipped to the distribution centers. And there is unused capacity of 50 units at plant 3. Now suppose demand at DC1 increases to 400. Total supply will then equal total demand and the problem becomes balanced. I'm going to delete the contents of the yellow cells to clear the previous solution. Now I want to change the supply constraints to equality constraints. Click Solver. Select the supply constraint. Click Change and change the sign to equality. Click OK. Click Solve. And here we have the balanced solution. Next, we consider the case where demand is greater than supply. I'm going to make a copy of this sheet. Let's now suppose demand at DC1 increases to 500 units. The problem becomes unbalanced again, but with demand greater than supply. Therefore, demand won't be fully met at some of the distribution centers. To solve this, click Solver. Select the demand constraints and click Change. Change the sign to less or equal. Click OK. 
solve OK and you can see that demand is not fully met at DC3. Next, suppose plant 2 cannot ship more than 300 units to warehouse 1. Go to solver, add new constraint. We want the value of this cell to be less than or equal to 300. Click OK. Solve. OK. You can see now we have 300 units from plant 2 to warehouse 1. Next, suppose we must ship at least 100 units from plant 3 to warehouse 1. Go to solver. Add. We want this plant 3 to warehouse 1 cell to be greater or equal to 100. Click OK. Solve. We now have 100 units shipped there. Finally, suppose we don't want Warehouse 2 to ship to Distribution Center 2. Click Solver. Add. We want this Warehouse 2 to DC2 cell to be equal to 0. Click OK. Solve. We now have 0 there. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.